Welcome to Impressions. This is a video flip through of the Pokey Little Puppies First Christmas A Little Golden Book Journal. You can see that the spine is intact from the original book with the gold leaf spine and we've got some Christmassy holiday trim on the front and back covers. We also have corners, metal corners to protect the edges of the book. And this book has a hidden spine with elastic binding. So all of the signatures, if you go to the middle of the page, you'll see they have this elastic cord. If you wanted to take pages out, you're going to gently move the lift up and slide out the pages that you want to work on or that you want to take out or add to. There's extra room in here. There's room for it, it to grow so you can add or delete pages as you see fit. The story is intact, so the story pages are all in order. And here we have a little hidden paper clip. You can, it's a cute little dog there. And it's just keeping this in place because you might want to glue this in wherever you would like or use it in other journals. It's a recycled envelope, just a junk mail envelope that I had and I have scrapbook paper collaged on the top of it and created a pocket. And inside the pocket there is a matchbook journal, mini journal, and there's some tags that you can use in your journal. And they're secured with a belly band here. We've got some journaling paper that has a three-hole pamphlet stitch bound in the middle and there's another hidden little flip out writing space so that's just going to go back in the pocket but again you can use any of these components anywhere you would like or use them in other journals that you might have and we've got some Christmas tree scrapbook paper we have some coffee dyed paper, and this is just multi-use paper. More coffee dyed paper, and we have some deckled edge grid paper. There's some children's primary writing paper. And this is another piece of coffee dyed paper, but this one is a lot thicker, so you could actually use paint or glue collage or anything art, any kind of art medium that you might want to use on this page. And then we have in the center of this signature is a stenciled coffee dyed piece of paper. So that is the first signature. You can see the different pages writing paper, grid paper, and if you wanted to um, put your own paper in, you would probably need to measure about maybe 10 inches, 8 inches high, and then about 10 inches in between. You can play around with the sizes because they don't have to be all the same but the definite height for each page should be 8 inches. Alright, then the second signature is a notebook that has been hand bound again with three hole pamphlet stitch with it has waxed um, thread and there's a little notch on the top and the bottom so it stays in place but again you can use this elastic to carefully slide it in and out and you could also replace it with a different type of notebook like that. So inside the notebook, and it's ready to decorate with any of the ephemera that's in here, or you can do whatever you wish with it. Um, if you have other things to use, you can do that too. We have a, some flashcards, and I turned them into little tags with tabs on the top. You can have them as journaling spots. There's another card, coordinates with the paper in the book. Then we have a hidden picture page with a little dog on and inside each of these pages we have a countdown to Christmas so you could use this every day of Janu of December and you could create um, just a little page as you count down to the days before Christmas so on each page there's some tuck spots here and they're just secured with washi tape so you could glue them down wherever you would like. 
So there's more cards for journaling or for photo matting and and arranging in the journal. And this is a little flip up area, so you could even use them as hidden writing spots. These flip out to the sides. They're just secured with washi tape. And then we have our Christmas, and there's some extra papers at the end. On the inside back cover, we have another matchstick book with a belly band that has two little journaling spots, or you could use them as tucks somewhere in the journal. And again, there's some more writing paper with another hidden writing spot. We also have another paper clip to hold everything in place, and there is a little folder. You could glue this down into the back cover or wherever you would like, but it holds more storage for tags that coordinate with the folder. So we've got a couple tags here, and we have a couple journaling cards. Another little flashcard with a cute little dog. We have puppy splash pad, hidden picture page. And here's our third signature. So our final signature has another piece of scrapbook paper. And this is a thinner piece, a smaller piece of that heavier cardstock that was coffee dyed. And then we have some scientific note paper with grid paper on one side and lines for notes on the other. And we have more grid paper with deckled edges, writing paper, the story, and this is a piece of lined paper. This is a dictionary page and has a cute little dog here. More notes, and this is actually a quiz, I think, from a driver's ed book that um, we recycled. So there's some different things here that you can look at and use in your journal. More stenciled coffee dyed paper. It's a little hard to see, but there's a very faint design on there. And then the inner one has more of a, another stenciled coffee dyed paper in the middle. There's some more stenciling coffee dyed paper. There's the quiz, dictionary page, note pages, grid paper, writing paper, and then this one has a back pocket already glued into it, so you could use the one that we saw earlier in a different part of the book. And when you pull out the contents, this is what, this was from a windowed envelope that was recycled, and we have another tiny notebook. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's distressed, and it's got some stickers inside on some of the pages. Little slim notebook. And we've got some more journaling cards here. Tags.
so there's lots of things for you to get creative and make the journal your own for the holiday season or to include your pets, your first puppy with its first Christmas. There we go. And that is the back cover. So if you really like this book, you can find it in the Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. If you like it, like and subscribe. Thank you.